Hopefully this custom comes up just as good as previous ones. You know how this goes down, so in a few short seconds we'll begin the next awesome exciting LEGO custom. Oh boy, we are now with another set of characters to get out. Hey guys, welcome back to LEGO DC Super Villains Custom Build, and here we are again, another awesome exciting LEGO custom. And today, considering one of the characters for LEGO DC Super Villains Custom Build, Oop, custom uh, custom build is now of course Dan, the witches of Mor Morva. Someone said it was the witches of Morva, but it's actually Morva. Um, hello gamer dude, welcome. So we're going to go inside now and do the witches of Morva. Uh, there'll be all three of them in the same video, so that's the plan. I'll be doing it from least intimidating to the most most intimidating. I suppose that'll be Orwin or or uh, Orga. Yeah, all in all get a bit of do as the leader, so yeah. Right, so inside we go, we're gonna say goodbye to Scarecrow and keep uh, Raven for obvious reasons. Looking at the chat once again, Flash says, make the main witches from the witches from Halloween. That's, I'm assuming it's a movie. Make the main witches from the witches, okay. I meant for Halloween. The main witches from the witches from the witches. I think I know. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So yeah, thank you for the request there, Flash. Let's take a look at the uh, list now. Well, not the list, but the custom. I was doing the Orwin first, and she's the one with the, the rack. Putting it nicely. Uh, so if I go to this right, uh, we want to start things off with Orwin, and she's got to go along down to, I'll say Wavy 3. We'll go all that way flustered. Her hair is more of an orange color than a dark red. Her head is a 49. <laughs> And that would be uh, her skin color is a gray. And from there, the lip color there is a red. And then the eyebrow color is black. Moving on from that, you've got your uh, there's a there's like beads in there. Be Care for that? Arms now they are going to be. Uh, it's not like the full sleeve, it's like there's a bit of arms. So the sleeved arms, top section is this blue right here, and the low section is the grey for the skin. One second. So, so that bluish colour there, and a grey right there. Hands, also the grey. Torso is a rag. Or that would be a robe then. But she's got the cleavage showing, so we're going to use something along the lines of Wonder Woman. And we will, uh, you know, well, to be fair, her skin wouldn't match that. So I guess in that terms, it it would uh, advise best to uh, use a robe piece here. So, League of Shadows, where are thou? And uh, blew that up, along with the hip piece and the leg section. Right. Let's see what the chat says. Moving on from that, we are now going on to the effects. Make sure they're on. I would like to go for purple for mine. It doesn't really matter, but to be personally honest. But for my witches, I will go purple. Style 3 for the hit impact there. And the hit impacts on. Uh, slam effect is the style 3. And then your hit impacts, of course, is purple as well. Moving on from that personality now, that of course will be for these characters, Teal Hearts, Standard Health, Voice, 5, Target Module, Stars, Basic Speed Animation is, well this one's the friendliest so I would say cool, and then the abilities, Tap Square for the Fighting, Lunge Attack is a 2, Tap Circle will be your Detective Mode, well not Detective Mode per se, but a, a Magical Shield. And again, purple for the magic stuff there. 
Um, thanks to Orga, we have seen that we just can do violent magic, so like the uh, zapping beams and stuff like that, and they can turn their enemies into frogs. So it's it's po it's quite possible that they would do that. So we'll give a beam attack there for, and that will be purple again with my personal choice of color. There you go, heat beam if you wish. And then from there the X button. Flight is a possible ability, but the way we've seen the witches in the air is more like this, this big cloud thing, so they're kind of like hovering and they're... Well, they're witches, they can also fly like some sort of apparition technique like Harry Potter. So it's more like a, some sort of quick teleportation thing, I'd say. But if I had to go up a bit, mix between the two for more um, stuff there, I would say a glide mechanic. And that will be a number one along with a hyper jump. Skill set. Uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, mind control, we never did that in the movie. Telekinesis, yeah, because we saw Orda, I believe is the leader, and she was floating all the pots around. So it's possible they could do that. Scroll on down now, we've got ourselves uh, Beam Deflection, which is viable for witches. Chlorophenesis, again, viable for witches. Goon Command, once say so. X-ray vi vision, not really needed. Graffiti due to alchemy, yes. And then from there, tracking also viable um, stuff. I wouldn't say illumination due to the time period, but yeah, moving on out. Basic information: villain character would join Legion of Doom, or you know, I'll, you know, take that back. I would say they're more like join either Rachel Ghoul or Dark Side. And if I had to look at the time period, I would personally say the League, um, the uh, what's it, the, the League of Shadows. But if you want to go uh, with uh, Dark Side's team, go for that. So inside there we have uh, Orwin. Next up we have Oradu, and then we have Or no. Orga is next, then Oradu. Okay, yeah, turn on these names. But yeah, we're coming outside now, showing off the abilities. And then we'll do Witch number two. Tap scare fighting, hold square lunge attack, tap circle shield, hold circle energy beam, and then you've got your barrel jump and hyper jump, as well as the glide mechanic. And all the abilities will apply to the other witches as well. So there is Orwin, now it's time to do witch number two, which is Orga, who is the witch in the hood, who wants to turn them all into frogs. And these, all, these characters come from the Black Cold, I'll say so already. Which I think is an underrated gem, it does have a bit, it is still Disney 5, but it does go a bit of that extra mile, so I do appreciate that. So I think it deserves more love than it, than it gets. Um, let's see, uh, so say goodbye to Orwin, creating Org. Orga, and from here, I see there, when I got this request before I knew it was pronounced Morva, I had the Witches of Morva up, so luckily I checked before making the video. Anyway though, moving on to Witch number 2, which is like I said, Mor you know, Orga, which I have there, the most zany of the Witches. Uh, her hood I would say is more of the Enchantress looking type hood, so I'm going to go with that approach for her. And again, matching her colors, of course, is a bluish, grayish color there. Same with the inner color. Well, to be fair, her hair is kind of visible in her hood, so that knowledge, dark red, is needed. Moving on from that, you want to go to the head, and we're going to... She is... Uh, Orin was the youngest of the three witches. Both, I would say, um, Orga is the oldest, and then Ordu. So for that knowledge, I'm going to use custom head, the elder lady, when I find it. It's over the top somewhere. Number four, 13, there we go. Human skin, well, more, uh, keep that skin grey. Remove the uh, eye shadow there. Black for the eye rest. And I don't think, she doesn't have the uh, lipstick because the other one's not really uh, into happy days, shall we say, so I'm going to remove that. And uh, there we have that going on. Moving on now, um, just like this one also has an extra scarf onto it, but I believe the scarf would remove the uh, the uh, hood. But yeah, just to, for example, it should. No, it doesn't actually. Surprise coffee does. It keeps the scarf on, which actually helps us with, our, with this custom. Helps distinct a bit more. So that would be a, a denim jean blue for that. And. Uh, Looking at the sleeves, uh, they are more rolled uh, rolled down a bit than the other one was, so I'm going to switch that to blank, and that the blue that I already established for the primary color. 
And again, like I said, the all the abilities have applied to the previous witches, so I don't need to do that again. So if you want to see, if you haven't seen already, just go back in the video and see Orwin for those. And let me just take a look at the chat. Jigson, welcome. Mark Moore, welcome again. Uh, we are doing a um, due to public. Uh, I should mention this real quick that due to uh, public votes, we will be doing Minecraft Minotaurus once per month uh, for allowing for allowing a person to uh, get their head in. I still will stick it to six heads at a time. Um, I don't really because uh, I do like a, I do since it only happens once a month. It, it's a good idea to have a good long game out of that. So hopefully that makes sense. So I think waiting a whole month, you want to make it worth the wait. So like it's a good long game. So I think that justifies the uh, the long the runtime of it. Which by the way, it was five hours. <laughs> so if you can't manage five hours, you you have uh, rec rights to quit the game at any point. But you will lose your chance to get the custom content mind. Anyway, though, back to this. Uh, can you do Terminator from uh, uh, Dark Face? Him as old man, sure. Um, well, can you start Minecraft Miner Tour a little more later, maybe at 11? Well, I can't guarantee what time, because everyone's in different time zones, Jake's son, but I will do it whenever I am available. If you can't make it to that event, then the game's already started, so you either A, have to team up, or, well, wait till next month. That's my best bet for you. Anyway, there. anyway back to this. Uh, tap square for the fighting, hold square, lunge attack, tap circle is the shield, hold circle is the electrical beam, and then you've got is the energy beam, and then you've got the barrel jump, hyper jump, and of course the flight mechanic that glides you through the streets. There you go. So there is Orga, the second witch of the three, uh, which is of Mor Morva uh, from the Black Cauldron. So now we're going to do the leader, which is Ordu, who wanted the swords to get the, the trade for the Black Cauldron. She's probably the wisest and the craftiest of the bunch. So yeah. Um, if it at 11 or more morning. Well, we'll see, Mark. Even besides, even when you weren't there, Adam was there to represent you, um, and you won, basically, because he was. Um, if the, if your teammates are willing to share that victory, then you're good. And if not, well, tough luck, mate, on on your on that. Um, but yeah. So inside we go. Now we're doing Ordu, the leader of these witches. She's got like the short hair, so curled, and it's dark red. There's also like um, ah, uh, I can't see it. Like a sash, uh, like headband in there. There's a bit of chat there. Yeah, tell Adam I said thanks. Yeah, I think he uh, he got that. Huh? Uh, let's see. So he she does have a headband, like I said. So I'm gonna go to accessories and scroll on down. Use the Wonder Woman movie visor, and that it it does look more like a tiara, which it basically is a tiara, but it's closest thing to a headband we can use. The head, which we already have established, is his custom head for it already stays the same. We are going to remove the uh, remove the uh, scarf piece, as we won't need that now. Uh, she more aligned has like a, a a mini cape going on, so I'm going to throw that in there. So scroll on down to Capo 9 and uh, that will be that light denim jean blue just to different, different herself from the others. And she's also got like her arms more exposed like uh, Orwin did. So it looks like she has a bit of elements from both of the two, of, of her previous two witches, which I kind of like actually. So grey there, exposing all the sleeve there. And again, all the pieces apply. Make sure your hands are grey. Make sure you've got the League of Shadows torso. Make it match the blue we already have here. Hit piece and leg section. Blank them up. And like I said, if you have noticed already, this is all based off the previous other two witches. So make sure you've got the move set, good to go. Like I said, lunge attack number 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 two there. Tap circle will be your shield, and then of course your beam attack. You can make it purple. X button is your uh, hyper jump and uh, glide mechanic number one, I believe. Stealth, graffiti tracking, um, beam deflection, floor kinesis, telekinesis, and you're good to go. Basic information: villain character would join um, League of Shadows, and there we have uh, the Witches of Mor Mor Morba. Morva. Um, uh, I need to get a drink of water after this. Uh, I just met. <laughs> wow. Um, Let's see. 
can you do the guest from Roblox as a custom? Sure. I just, yeah, interesting that you met that character. Anyway, outside we go now showing off the abilities of the of the Ordu, and that's essentially all three which is done. So uh, from there we're going to move on to the next thing on our list, which I believe is Sid Sidira from Killer Instinct, and then it's Frank West from Dead Rising, who's like a zombie survivor. Tap skill for the fighting, hold square lunge attack, tap circle is the uh, shield, and then you got your energy beam, and then you got your barrel roll, hyper jump, and glide mechanic as well. There you go. But there we have ourselves the three witches of Morva, hope from, from the Black Cauldron. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Do the do do like James Charles. Uh, you have to say who James Charles is, like what's he from? Is he a famous person? If he's a YouTuber, I wouldn't probably wouldn't do him, because again I only do the ones I'm subscribed to. Um, but yeah. Um, aside from that though, so let me know who that is. But yeah, that's it for these three witches of the Black Cauldron. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Like I said, smash that like button, subscribe, that good stuff. Can you do the crow for Palo Neighbor 2 or the person with the crow mask on? Okay. Make up artists. Oh, okay. So they're famous makeup artists, Mark Morris? If James Charles is a famous makeup artist, then yes, I can. If it's a YouTube makeup artist, then pass. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, wrap up on this custom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, like I did say. Up next we were doing Sadira from Killer Instinct and then Frank West from uh, Dead Rising, so those are the next two customs. Then moving on to two more parts for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes to continue that uh, live stream. Oh. Hmm. Well, you said yeah, and you didn't, well Mark, you did say yeah, but you didn't spe 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 specifically say if it's a YouTube person or a famous person. So, that still needs to be stated. Can you join my Discord? Well, I don't really use my Discord a lot, so keep that in mind. But I appreciate the, uh, the request. Anyway, though, that'd be all for me. Like I said, I really will end this one, because next up we have Sadira. I hope you're pronouncing that right from Killer Instinct. So next, like always, I'll see you in just a bit with all that Killer Instinct character. So next, like always, peace.